First, I'm going to show you how easy it is importing leads and clients into Radius. And then I'm going to show you how much work you might have to do to get that information in cleanly if you have a previous book of business that had a lot of details that don't exactly line up. So let's start easy. Let's first look at the instructions for importing your spreadsheet into Radius. You can go to Leads to import leads or Clients to import clients. We're going to do this easy import first, so let's go to Leads. Import Leads. Here you'll see a list of fields that we have named in Radius. Notice here that there are special instructions. Up to custom dates, you can map any of the fields above. We'll cover custom dates in the more complicated import file, but for now, just know that if you've created custom dates, you'll see the field naming convention here. And from the custom dates through additional products, you must follow the specific naming conventions for your spreadsheets column so that when you're mapping the fields, you can leave it as use specified header. It'll make more sense in the next step. We've organized the setup tutorial so that importing is the last step of the trial. The reason why will probably make more sense now as you go through your file preparation checklist. Most people wanna skip straight to importing the file, which is fine if your file is straightforward, but most spreadsheets need some prep work before importing. Things to check before you import this file. Have you added any necessary custom data fields into Radius? Have you added your coverage types, carriers, and products into Radius? Have you set your counties in settings, states and counties? Have you created any custom dates that you need? In the spreadsheet, are the dates in the right format? In the spreadsheet, do you need to merge any columns? Do you need to add any tags or statuses into Radius? Can you delete any columns in your spreadsheet that don't have information in them or have information that you don't need? Is there a column for agent that has the agent's name or names as they appear in Radius, Account, My Information. The agent's name must be identical to the way it's listed in Account, My Information, so that the assigned agent maps over properly. Have you named the carrier header row Carrier? Have you exported it as a CSV file? Okay, let's import this file trusting that I've done my thorough checklist. I'll go back to the first step which is clicking on Leads, Import Leads, scroll down, choose the file, click Next Step. Now you'll see these opportunities to map the file. If your file has the same column names as the fields in Radius, you'll see them listed out so first name would map to first name, last name to last name, etc. For any fields that aren't mapping properly, where it says you specified header and they're not the ones that we've discussed, you're going to map those fields. For any of the fields that I mentioned need to be in that specific naming convention as listed on the import documentation, you will choose use specified header. You will also choose that option for carrier. Once you've gone through all those fields, hit Import. You'll see the message that your file has been queued for import. Depending on the size of your import, it might take a while, so it's good to look for that email to know it's been completed. It will also show you if there were any errors. You can import up to 20,000 leads or clients at a time, so that's a lot of information to process. This file was only a couple of leads, so let's check on them as they'll be there already. We see that Zara and Steve have already been imported and that they came over properly. If you have a simple, straightforward file, you're done. For the rest of you, let's go through the challenging file. All of the steps I'm going to show you are broken out into smaller tutorials, so I'll go more quickly through this for the interest of time. Reference those videos and articles for more specific details. Let's open this sample file. The first column I see here is tag. So we have to check settings, account tags, to see that they're listed. If not, I'll copy these tags and paste them in to make sure they match up and map over properly. Those are now set. Back to the file. Insurance type would map to coverage type. You can either map it in the mapping process or fix it here if that's easier. 
Let's go to Settings, Coverage Types and Custom Data Fields, and make sure that we have Medigap, Life, and Health listed, just as we do in the spreadsheet. I see Health, Life, and Medigap, so we're covered. If we need to add a coverage type, we'd simply click Add Coverage Type or Update Coverage Type if we wanted to rename it. Make sure you name it the same thing as in your file. Let's check you have your insurance carriers. One thing I forgot to do by happy accident while making this video was to change this header row to the required carrier naming convention. I'll show you how I caught and fixed it in the import process, so I've left that mistake in. But save yourself some time and rename that column carrier. Let's go to Settings, Carriers. A tip for getting lists of carriers and products in quickly into Radius. Select the carrier and product columns in your spreadsheet. Copy and go to a new sheet, Paste. Remember to add any additional product, carrier, and product columns that you have as well to the bottom of this list. Delete that header row. Then sort alphabetically by column A, then column B. You'll have to click on the Help button in your software program if you don't know how to do sort in your program. Delete all duplicates so that you're left with a list of one of each of your carriers and products. Copy your list of carriers, go into Settings, Insurance Carriers, or in Products. Click Add Carrier. Here, you can paste a list of carriers to import. Hit Create. Then edit the carriers to add information, contacts, documents, and notes. Now do the same for products, keeping them grouped by carrier. You can set commissions for these products, or if you just want to get things in now without tracking commissions, you can set it to a flat fee of zero and edit it later. Save. Add the other products for the other carriers in. Then go back to your spreadsheet, delete the sheet with these additional columns, so that way you can head back and you only have the main sheet left. Here we have first name, last name, which are both available headers in Radius, but we also have middle name. So let's merge those columns into a column named name. Radius finds the first name and the last name by the spaces between the names. So you can have a full name to import or you can have it separated out. If this lead had a maiden name of Wilson, we would probably want to hyphenate it if she uses Wilson Ljubljana as her last name. So let's merge those columns. Create a new column. Call it name. Type the formula equal sign H2, which is the first name field, and percent. Then quote space quote and percent J2 for middle name. And percent quote space quote and percent. I2 for last name. Your formula has given you the first, middle, and last name properly spaced. Drag that formula down the column. Name the column name. While I'm usually a supporter of deleting any data we don't need in a spreadsheet, don't delete columns that you've merged information from as then the data will disappear. When we import the file, we're just going to choose not to import those specific fields and only import the name column. Address city state zip are fine. County needs to have the counties added into radius if you haven't done so already. Go to settings, states and counties. In counties, you can add whatever counties you need. We have a reference for you on the knowledge base, which is a list of the counties by state. Search for the state and the word county to pull it up. We don't monitor this list, so if a new county is added to a state, let us know and we'll update the list from there. Copy the list, go back to counties, click import counties, paste, select the state, import and boom. Next up, we have our first custom data field. Our system only has phone and cell phone, so any additional phone numbers, check that they're in settings, coverage types, and custom data fields. 
We recommend putting general information into additional information and putting everything else into more specific coverage types. Other phone is there, so personal email address versus work mail. Again, we only have one email field, so choose the main one you want to use and then create a custom field for any others. The agent column. This is one that a lot of people forget about. You need to set the assigned agent in this column, and they need to have their name exactly as it appears in their profile in account, my information. So Danielle wouldn't fly. We need the name that's in account, my information, which is Danielle testing. So change that in your spreadsheet. We don't need this category column since Radius requires you to import leads and clients separately. So delete this column and rename the file clients import or something like that so you know which place to put it in. Let's check that you've got the right status options for mapping over. Settings, status options. Instead of active, we have enforce. Either edit the status option in Radius or edit your file. You can quickly do a find and replace within that column to update the file. Just don't select the whole file, otherwise the word active, if it's in any other column, it'll replace that to enforce, even if it's in notes or something. If in doubt, check your spreadsheet program's instructions on find and replace. Here we have date of birth. All dates have to be formatted month, month, day, day, year, 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 year. Double check the format. Click on the column. You'll usually have an option for format in your program. Choose the date and select the proper format for that column. Double check the work as now that it's in the 2000s, some programs default to 2047 rather than 1947, so eyeball your work on dates. Height is another set of columns that we have to merge, as our system has it in one field for feet and then inches. Add a new column. Type in the formula equal sign Z2 ampersand quote, 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 ampersand AA2 ampersand, quote, apostrophe, quote. Drag the formula down, rename it height. Here we have our first additional product. We have to check the naming convention for these columns in radius and change our spreadsheet to reflect that. We'd put add product, space, carrier, space, number one. I recommend just copying and pasting as much as you can from our list. You'll notice things like coverage type doesn't have a space in them, so pay attention to that. I'll magically name all of these behind the scenes so we get through this faster. Some people have reference numbers from their old CRM. If you want to keep it, rename the column ID and you'll use specified header in the mapping process. Otherwise, delete that column. Here we have an app submitted date, which is a custom date field. In Settings, go to Email, Columns, Calendar, and Other Settings, Edit. Scroll down to Custom Date Fields and enter what dates you need. Now go back to Clients, Import Clients, and in the list of fields you'll see the specified header name that you'll need to use there. Copy and paste it into your file's column header. We're done! Phew! Now save or export it as a CSV file. We can now go to the bottom of the import page. Here you'll see where you could search for duplicates or do updates with this criteria, such as match against name, phone number, etc. And we can choose to not import duplicates or update duplicates. Since this is a fresh import, let's not worry about it. Choose the CSV file we just worked so hard on. Click Import Clients. Now this page allows us to check the mapping of the fields. Tag should map to tags. Here's where I caught my mistake. Insurance carrier needs to be carrier because it has to be that naming convention. So go back to the file, fix, export it again as a CSV. Back again to clients, import clients, scroll down, 
Import Clients after you've chosen the file, and Map. Now Carrier will be left Use Specified Header. We'll choose Do Not Import for first name, last name, and middle name since we only need full name, which will map to name. Mobile maps to cell, personal email maps to email, DOB maps to date of birth, tobacco user with a question mark maps to tobacco user. Additional products and custom dates will use the specified header. Import. You'll get a notice that your file is queued for import and you'll be notified of its success. We can now see that we've successfully imported these clients. That was a lot, but again, we have resources for each of these steps on our knowledge base. And if you have any questions, please create a tech ticket and we'll get back to you.